Um, what I want to do today is take these and pressure wash them. Jet wash these motherfuckers. I got this tub here. It's got holes for draining. Check this out. First item in our bath, the cylinder. So it doesn't rust because the piston, the cylinder is itself themselves are from steel I'll just give it some air next up <laughs> removing the instrument panel now I removed this it's got well, only one um, screw here removing these and I'll take these off and this, the headlight assembly, I'll take this one off also, this thing, yeah man, so, a uh, 12 mil bolt, no, it's nut, one here, and one here. In order to remove the instrument panel, I have to remove the speedo wire. There's one here on the wheel. One side here, I mean. Take it out. And the other side is here. Somewhere here on the instrument panel. There it is. This feed of wire is caught one time here. What's going on? It's got a clip here, that one. Take it out. And then it's fed through this ear there. Let's take it out. Check out that one. And now it should slide out. And it does. Note to self, the wheel part is longer than the other part. That's the other part. They also have different different thingies inside. So that's, that looks like a U. This looks like a square Allen key. And now, taking out the key barrel. Two Allen screws here and here. Five mil. Two bolts with two washers, locking washers. Yeah. All right, that's for the headlight assembly. Twelve mil bolt here. Another one down there. And another one the opposite side. Three screws, same size, headlight assembly. Right now for the engine run, lights on and off, start throttle section. There's one screw here and another screw here next to the throttle cable. For the lights and signaling, there's one screw here, another one down here. Note to self, this screw here next to the star button was longer than the other one. After you remove the screws, this comes out in like two pieces, like that. one piece and then this just slides up that's the throttle removing the brake sensor wire also two screws careful stuff will fall down this is a spring there with a connector two screws plastic bit contact side and there should be a thingy there see that so that one there 
shoe come out? That's it. Here's the screws on the other side. They're both the same size. Ooh. Here's this one out. But it's wire and the choke plug. To remove this cage from the headlight, two 10 mils either side. Two here, two on this side. Here's the four screws, all four same size. Now this cage thing comes off. It's beginning to look more and more like a really robust push bike. <laughs> I want to take the engine out today. For some annoying reason, whoever made Stanley decided that on their compressors they only need one meter of fucking power cord. So I'm gonna have to cut this and extend it. I've got a sacrificial IEC here. To take the engine off, it says in the manual you need a jack stand. To jack it up from underneath here to avoid damaging any of these I'll just use like um, a piece of plank with a hole inside it that fits this circle bit here hole socks yep and a drill this should fit onto this. Taking this off, the clutch wire cover, 8mm socket, 2 here, 3, 4. So the first screw here, they probably are different size <laughs> sizes. First screw, that's how it looks, the top one. This one should be longer. The one next to the alternator bit, yeah. This as expected is longer. Alright, let's see this one. This should be the same as that size. You guessed it, it is. No, it's not, it's shorter. So, long, middle, short. Let's see this one now. Yeah, this is <laughs> middle size also. So, the longest one is this one. Middle size, shortest, middle size also. realized you need to take off this also that's the gear shifter lever mark the position here it's kind of like 45 degrees yeah 10 mil spanner or socket and then you take this one off not sure if uh, I think I'll take all of it off as in, I'll leave this attached and take this one off. And then it should slide off all of it. To remove things like these, you need one of these thingies. When you do stuff like this, make sure these teeth are straight into these holes in here. Because otherwise you're going to damage stuff. You can move this around if it doesn't fit you. If it doesn't suit you. And then just ahead. Yeah, here there's loads of space. No. There's no space. With this thingy here, you have to take the screw all the way out because there's a ridge here. And it doesn't want to let it 
come out if the screw is not off and then this should go off like that and it did here it is there was another screw the shortest one down here and now this is coming off hey, hey. beautiful this goes in when the clutch is pressed in and it presses on this on this shaft here note to self this is how it looks with these two springs in here yeah the springs move there's a lot of shit here oh, it's not springs it's washers actually Yeah, so the longest, nicer part goes in the clutch and the shortest, shitty one is outside. For some reason there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these washers. I'll try and do the same method to clean this as the valves, put it in the drill and this is the same shaft. Man, this wire wool method works with everything. Bolts. What? Look at the head. Whoa. Yeah. Interesting turn of events. These are O rings. I think I know why. To keep the dirt off the going in there. To remove the clutch wire, you pull it in and then or you press this and then it goes on the lateral. It does have a clip here to hold it in, so you have to straighten that clip first. After you did that, you just unscrew it from here and it goes off. These puckers right here are really tight, so make sure you use the appropriate bit. So not a Phillips, a Phillips 2. PH3 actually, because otherwise you'll strip them. This is uh, pretty interesting. These are the bolts. They look like wood bolts. No way. And this one. <laughs> no wonder they were so such a bitch to take out. Uh huh. And that thing here leads to the shaft of this man. Okay. There's this thingy with shafts and like a bearing but made out of different position balls to fit this. It's like a thread but with a bearing inside. This is crazy man. Crazy Japanese people man. Nice. See? <laughs> That's the thread. Sick. Remember, remember that dirty part? There it is. I've scraped it a bit, wire brush and the drill, and then a little bit by hand, and then pressure washed it. Now it's this one's turn. The gear pedal. Next up, the clutch lever, lever, 10 mil socket. This and it's coming out. Also a very special day for oh man, I need to clean this for it to come out. Since this is sticky stuff, I'm thinking, you know? Yeah man, it's coming off. <laughs> and it's off. Now off with the wheel, so I can loosen the chain. First loosen these tensioners. 12 mil. And, and this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, so 17 and 22. There's this bar over here that I need to I need to loosen. I think it's either that or the uh, the brake lever. So I'll just loosen this. Oh no, it is this. Because this is tight. Okay. Damn, it's that one. First you remove this pin. Can you see this pin? This pin. First you remove that. And then untighten the bolt. And yes, it was a 14. I'm not taking the wheel off now. After I take the engine, this is gonna go for a ride with me in the garden. Here we go. This comes off. Now I can take the chain off the sprocket. There it is. Off the sprocket. And I think now, officially, this engine can be taken down. There's the water pump. Oh yeah, I'll have to remove the water pump also. The water pump has one screw here, one screw down there, and another screw behind this nut here, so this comes off first. 10 mil, 10 mil. Phillips, but the big Phillips. What the bottom nut? It's got a a washer also. One washer, second washer, and the pipe comes off. It comes off. It's got one of those thick uh, O-ring. If you have dogs or cats. Uh, this stuff is really poisonous for them. I have a dog and a cat, so that's why I'm cleaning it up. Anyway, you don't want this stuff in your shoes or in your, or in your tires. It's really nasty. On screws like these, I found that a good method is to tap them a bit. drill will be amazing now. It's coming off. So first first screw first bolt this size so that's the down one. That's the top one the same size the same size. Now this should come off. Clip there, take, loosen that, and then it should come off. It's out. Because I'm gonna remove the, because uh, I'm gonna remove the engine, and I can't take this off uh, because I don't want to damage it. I'm gonna put this cap on. Yeah. I've put these two screws back for this cap and the uh, water pump screws. The water pump doesn't seem to come off, so maybe it's something else. Yeah, now removing one, two, the other side of two, the other side of one, and the engine should come off. I might have to remove these ears also. Yeah man, what's up? I've lined this contraption to that. Alright. Now I'm gonna support the weight of the engine. By lifting it. I think... Oh yeah, there's another bolt here. This one down here. Here. 
15 mil long socket. Brake lever also. 12 mil bolt there and it should slide off. Again. The same thing as the gear changer thingy. This has an indentation here. Number one nut, the down one. Now the top one. The top one here has two spacers. Before attempting this, I'm gonna change my shoes to some hard, hard ones. Back with my steel toe caps. All right, this ooh, this bolt is the top one. This is the bottom one. The top one seems to be a bit shorter. Huh? Now, that's the only one left. Many businesses are still very it doesn't yet yeah, but still need to communicate with their customers. I'll try and remove these ears. Right now it's playing an even bigger role. Keep it in the might have to remove this. I might have to remove this year also. And these two definitely. 12 mil. Screws. One. Two. Let's see if I can lift it a bit. No, it's still blocked. For the reference, this is the engine side, see? It's a bit longer, this arm, than this. On the table. The UK. Ta -da -da. Made, uh, it spins. Their home and we will feature all sort of 
I'm just gonna put some planks here so it sits on two planks. Okay, off to the last segment. The rear. The rear is held. First you remove this. It's got four screws, two Allen and a 12 and a 12. This comes off together with the signals. And then this one from the inside, yeah, one here, one on the other side, and there should be another one here, another one there, and one there. Easy peasy. Japanese. These are the two bolts from here, there. Careful when you remove this. There's a couple of spacers and things. Don't lose those. Now the 12 mils. Bolt number one. Short one. And number two. Now this should come off. And it does. Uh, you gotta pull the wires for the uh, signaling. They go from here into a hole in this. This part is off. I'll remove the signal bits and then take it to the pressure washer. Show you the spaces. There's uh, one of these gaskets and then an aluminum spacer. Same on the other side. Start taking this off. There's one screw here, one here, two on the other side. Just normal Phillips screws. These are. Ah, they have a nut on the other end. They are supposed to hold it with something. <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's shit, really. How old is this one? I'm not sure on the other one. Screw on that. Yeah, the screw with the other nut. Uh, it works if you hold it with a finger. The same like the front ones. These here are screws, but they're actually clips, plastic clips. That, uh, they have a thread. Just put them back here so I don't lose them. This is coming off or not? Not yet. There's the two screws, 12 mil, that hold the number plate holder. These 10 mil actually, not 12. Surprise, surprise! I don't know why they have a nut on the other side also. This comes off. I'll put the nuts back on. Right, this comes off. This is the back bit. I'll take it off so I can pressure wash it. I'll take this off. Two bolts here, and I think it all pops out. 12 mil bolt, 12 mil bolt. What is it with Japanese people and bolts and nuts on the other side? I don't get it. Everything was so perfect till now. It's gotta be a catch, right? Thank god this doesn't have a nut on the other side. It's welded. There's the other one. Now this should come off. This metal piece. Uh, there's two more screws on top. Two more screws here, probably these two. 
and then these. And that was it for this. One more 10 mil down there. This is our last screw. That being said, this can come out. Hopefully, without me having to take the wheel off. So, I'm just gonna remove these two to separate these parts. Two little bolts, Phillips. Each with a washer. Now this should come off. Separate the motherfucker. Flat head. Flat head. One off. And the other one. One thing that the Japanese people couldn't do right in 1983 is welding. There's some bad welding here, man. Like that, look, it's not uniform at all. No wonder it rusted. Like, look here. There's this part just hanging up. What the hell, man? That's strange. 